Easter means chocolate and these cream egg brownies hit the spot perfectly. Fudgy chocolate brownie topped with a gooey Cadbury cream egg, what's not to love? Welcome to Recipes by Karina, where I share with you how to make classic and simply delicious recipes. Make sure to subscribe or follow my page for a new recipe each week. To start, in a heat proof bowl we want to add our butter. We'll need 1 cup, 225 grams or 2 sticks. You'll notice I give the recipe amounts in metric and imperial, cups and grams, so no matter where you live in the world, you should find this recipe easy enough to follow. To the butter, we want to break in about 300 grams of chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate here, about 50% cocoa solids, as I think it gives the best chocolate flavour. You can use chocolate chips, but I usually go for a bar of eating chocolate, as the quality and taste is just 100% better. Break it up or cut it up into smaller pieces and add it to the bowl. Place the bowl over a pot of simmering water, making sure the water won't touch the bowl and let it slowly melt. This will take about 10 minutes or so. You can also do this step in the microwave in 30 second increments, stirring in between. We want the heat to be very gentle, so there's no chance of scalding the chocolate, which happens pretty easily, so just be careful. If you'd like the full recipe for these Easter creamy brownies, it'll be on my website as well as the full measurements listed in the description box below. While the chocolate and butter is melting, move on with the eggs. We need four good quality room temperature eggs here. If you store them in the fridge like I do, just remove them about an hour or so before you start baking. Crack them into a large bowl or you can use a stand mixer for this part if you have one. Make sure in between to keep an eye on your chocolate and butter, giving it a good stir to make sure it's melting well. Cream eggs are really delicious to use here and they look so perfect for Easter, but if you don't have them or you can't find them, you can use any other type of filled Easter egg you would like. A caramel filled one might even be a little more delicious. Another option here is to use mini Easter eggs and mix them into the brownie batter so when it bakes they are throughout the brownie. There are so many different options so make sure to use what you can find. We want to give the eggs a pretty good whip here. I'm using a whisk and giving my arms a little workout but like I said before you can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer if you would like. We need to get the eggs quite frothy and foamy, beating air into them as that is what is going to create that delicious crinkly crackly top that is a sign of a perfect brownie. The eggs and sugar kind of create a meringue like effect in the batter raising to the top as it bakes. We're also not using baking powder in this recipe as we want a really delicious dense and rich brownie so the small amount of lift it will get will come from the air we beat into the eggs. Let me know in the comments below what other types of Easter baking you'll be doing. I have a few other Easter recipes like Easter Rocky Road, cupcakes and hot cross buns which I'll have linked below. It's such a great time of year to do baking, so many delicious creations you can make. The chocolate and butter should be melted by this point. Give it a good mix with the wooden spoon to make sure it's completely smooth and there isn't any pieces of chocolate hiding out. Remove it from the pot of simmering water. Be careful here as it'll be very hot and place it on your work surface. While it's still hot, we want to measure out and add the sugar as this will help it to cool. We'll need one and a half cups or 300 grams here. I would usually use two cups of sugar as this is a pretty rich brownie, but we're going to be adding cream eggs on the top, which are very, very sweet, so I don't want too much of a sugar overload. Add the sugar to the bowl with the melted chocolate and butter and mix it together. The sugar should instantly start to mix in and dissolve a little. We don't need it to dissolve fully for this recipe, but adding the sugar here will help the chocolate and butter to cool before adding it to the eggs so it doesn't scramble them. 
This will make quite a large brownie, at least 9 servings, but you may want to cut it smaller. You can easily double or halve the recipe if you would like. Just remember to use two tins or bake it for a shorter amount of time if you do halve it. Another great tip is if you do make this after Easter, you can use leftover Easter eggs as a chocolate pie you melt with the butter. Once your sugar has been completely combined with the melted chocolate and butter, give it a little test to make sure it isn't still burning hot. It should have cooled down but we still do want it warm. Take the bowl and now pour it into the larger bowl with the whisked eggs, using your wooden spoon or a whisk to combine the chocolate mixture and eggs together. This will take a bit because it doesn't really seem to want to combine, but with a whisk it should be easy. Part of what separates a chocolate brownie from chocolate cake is the texture, so we're only using a small amount of flour. Brownies have a much higher percentage of butter, eggs and chocolate, which makes them so rich, dense and gooey, while cakes have much less and more flour to make them lighter and fluffier. Measure out 1 cup or 125 grams of standard or all-purpose flour which is going to bind the brownie together and add a little more structure. You can use a sieve here but as long as your flour isn't clumpy you don't really need it. We'll also need a quarter cup of cocoa powder which is going to add so much chocolatey richness and colour to the brownie as well as a good pinch of salt. We aren't using any leveling agents in this recipe like baking powder or baking soda. We want it to be dense and gooey and fudgy, not cakey, plus the 4 eggs will give it a little lift. Using the wooden spoon, combine the brownie batter together. Be careful not to overmix it here, just enough until you no longer see any dry flour. Pour it out into a lined and greased rectangular or square cake pan and smooth out the top. Now comes the fun part adding the eggs. I'm using 6 Cadbury cream eggs here but as I said before feel free to choose any other kind of Easter chocolate eggs you would like. Cut them in half and press each half into the brownie, spacing them out evenly. Bake your brownie in a 180 degree celsius or 350 degree fahrenheit oven for 40 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the centre comes out with only a few crumbs on it. Part of a brownie is it being incredibly gooey in the centre so try not to over bake it. Cool the brownie completely on a wire rack before slicing it into pieces. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and try it out for Easter. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.